hello guys welcome back again to my youtube channel this is sports payout if you're just joining me do where to give this video a like hit the subscribe button and don't forget to turn on your notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos uh, as you can see guys our previous prediction um the match is currently going on okay so this is the prediction for today so do where to stick responsibly do not play everything in a single ticket so that's why you have to watch this prediction to the end without skipping okay do not skip this video so starting from uh, the england national league north we have a uh, darlington against blitz so for their table you see that darlington they have 17 points and they're number five on the table so these guys they are doing exceedingly well so for the away team they have a uh, eight points and they're number 20 on the table okay so you can see the big difference between them and the gap so why for their head-to-head -head statistics for the home team you see that these guys they've won all five of their last matches darlington has been doing well in their last five games okay so for blitz they've lost three of their last five matches they've won one and they've drawn one also so there's something really common about these guys is that they always play at least over 1.5 or darlington usually score a goal in their match so for their heads to head streak against each other darlington always score okay darlington always what score that's why i'm going to pick this particular prediction as darlington to score but if there's not um available market for darlington to score pick darlington win or draw so over to the next one we have a uh, um, chestnut against dorwish hamlet still in a national league south so for their table you see that chestnut they are number 20 okay both of them is number 22 and 23 on the table so for this particular uh, this particular league it's a new season okay so you can tell by the numbers of, of points from the first people there which is if uh Eve's fleet so down to their heads to head statistics for home team they've lost four of their last five matches and they've won one these guys they play at least over 2.5 over 3.5 over 4.5 and that so these guys they score a lot of goals in their match for dorwich hamlet they've lost four also and they've what they've won one these guys they also play over 1.5 and over 2.5 so guys the only match they played against each other was in 2020 by dorwich beating chestnut three goals to one so much like this you cannot really pick who's going to win because these guys they've not really been doing well in their last match so we're going to pick this particular prediction as over 1.5 so for the next one which is a professional development league still in england i'm going to check their table so for watford against charlton you see that charlton they have 30 uh they have 13 points and a number three on the table while watford they've got no point okay so uh, charting is uh is passing word forward with 13 points that is the gap between them so for their head-to-head -head statistic remember Char uh, Watford, they have no point they've lost all five of their matches all five okay so but these guys they play at least over 1.5 over 2.5 3.5 4.5 so for charlton they've lost three times they've won once and they've drawn once also so they also play at least over 1.5 in their matches so that's why we're going to pick this particular prediction as over 1.5 so for the next one which is uh, in italy we have a uh, pogibonsi a gaze of yetana all right so we're gonna go straight to their table for their table you see that the uh, arezzo is number one on the table with nine points arezzo that is in uh, that's toscany so for the home team they have three points and the away team they have no points so it's a new season okay you can tell by the numbers of points from the first team so over to the next um to the next phase which is the head to head statistics the home team they've won three times and they've lost two times they play at least over 2.5 in their what in their matches while of they've what they've lost three of their last what prediction so definitely we are rest assured that home team is going to beat these guys in this prediction okay so i'm going to pick this particular prediction as pogibonsi to win pogibonsi is going to win what this match so for the next one which is in turkey we have the turkish cup 
Turkish club that is Ankara Spor against Kapel's BLD. So, um, there's no available table for this match, all right. So, we're gonna make our prediction from their head to head or statistics. So, for Ankara Spor, they've drawn three of their last five matches, they've won one, and they've won the lost one. Okay, so picking over over prediction from this particular match is a little bit risky because Capes they've drawn twice, they've lost two times, and they've won once. Okay, so these guys they barely score goals in their matches. So that's why we're gonna pick this particular prediction as under 3.5. Okay, under 3.5. But if you come across under 4.5, you can as well pick it also to be on the safer side. So for the last one. We have a Zonguldak, okay, Zonguldak against uh, Gumushanespo. So there's still no table available for this match. That's why I'm going to go straight to their head-to-head -head statistics. For the home team, they've lost two of their last five matches. They've won two and they've drawn one. These guys, at least over 1.5, do come out in their prediction in their matches, all right. But it's a little bit risky because away team, they are they barely score goals. That means they don't really give access to what to lot of goals okay so this is it this is it for their head to head match their last match was played in 2021 they played the draw and in 2020 uh, uh gumu shanespo won zonguldak four goals towards to two so this is it this is it but there's something special about what this particular uh match because um, the chance of Gomushanespo winning is a, uh, is very high, okay? Because um, based on their head to head statistics, they always score at least one goal in every of their match. So that's why I'm going to pick the away team Gomushanespo to score one goal. Away team is going to score one goal in this match. So don't be moved by odd, okay? Just move by the way they pick their prediction. Sorry, the way they play their matches. So guys, I've come to the end of this video. Do well to give this video a like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to stick responsibly. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video.